Friday morning, this morning with uh, Eamon and Ruth. Hello, welcome back. Now, it's common for parents and their children, isn't it, to have differences of opinion. That's nothing new. But it's rare that they become a matter of life and death. But sadly, that is the case for our next guests. Because 20 months ago, Sam Dyer here was diagnosed with a malignant, inoperable brain tumour. OK, so the tumour would kill him. Sam disagrees, though, uh, and he's trying alternative therapies to combat it. The problem is, Dad, uh, Martin, is uh, no ordinary dad. He's a leading cancer specialist. Um, the thing is, Dad, do you think that these um, alternative therapies work? No, simply no. Um, there's no evidence that any of the things that Sam have tried will really make an objective difference to his tumour. Having said that, the stuff that he's tried has resulted in a slight decrease in his tumour on his latest scan. And you can't blame him for trying anything in Oh, absolutely thing. not. Yeah. No, that's, that's a separate issue altogether. You know? yeah. and this is a, when he was diagnosed, 22-year-old boy who reali realised very, very soon on that conventional medicine didn't have much to offer. Yeah. Sam, where are you at at the moment? How are you feeling? You're looking good. Uh, uh, feeling pretty solid. Mm -hmm. as solid as one yeah. can hope to be, I think, under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm one of the lucky ones. I mean, I've had like three seizures in the last 30 months. One which was only two days ago, and that's because I took wrong medication, I honestly believe. And apart from that, I'm in generally good health and I'm in good standing. And I think you might be interested to hear about some of the things that I have been trying and am very eager to talk about, I suppose. Yeah. And the thing you're eager to talk about particularly is the use of cannabis, which is um, incredibly controversial. And of course it's illegal, right? You know, so yeah. it can't be condoned. Mm. Uh, but you're in a situation where you're saying, I'm going to use this. In what form do you use it and why do you believe that it works? And why do you well, think there should be research okay. into it? In extremely concentrated resin, format. I, I got it through, well, I, I hasten to divulge my sources, but I, I got it basically in an envelope. <laughs> and it was just 10 grams at a time. And I've heard from, from many different people, all anecdotal stories of course, but I've actually been in contact with one person in particular who was the uncle of an 18-year-old girl who had a grade 4 glioma, which is like the, one of the most deadly forms of cancer. It's a very, very deadly form mm. of brain cancer. Virtually no one survives it. And this girl took, I think, about 60 grams of this stuff over, ingested it from a packet over a space of a month. And her last scan showed up negative. Mm. In fact, two of the last scans have shown up completely clear of it. That's well, what about Dad. your scans? Because you, you, you've had one, was it a year ago? I, where the tumour had reduced slightly? It time. had, yes. I, I've been trying numerous things apart from this. I've also been trying a compound called sodium, di sodium dichloroacetate, mm. or DCA. And that helps basically make the cancer cells less... They, they take in less energy. They well, Dad, he believes in this, and if it's working for him, you know, well and good. Uh, but the mm. thing is, the scientific evidence at the moment is not there. Not is it not? So what, what, about, what about Sam's whole call for research? Where do you stand on that? So his, research into yeah, I mean the, the the DCA. There is, you see, the trouble is with all this. There is some. There is a little bit of scientific evidence from the lab that suggests it has some activity, right? But then translating that from the lab. Yeah. To individuals, it's a huge. There's a huge gulf. With the cannabis, we've we've no idea what mm. what might be working. Um, what what particular molecule? It must molecule. be so hard yeah. for you, Martin, because right from the start, um, when Sam yeah. got this terrible yeah. uh, diagnosis, you, you, I presume, in your time, have probably had to give that news sure. to other sure. parents, never thinking sure. in a million years you'd have to <laughs> listen to that news. Quite. And I I imagine as a, a professor and a specialist in cancer, yeah. that your first thought would be, right, you know, we're going to sort this, you know, I'll speak to all exactly. my cancer specialist friends and, and we'll sort it out. And yet you can't, which must well, make no, you feel no. very helpless. Sam, no, well, it wasn't that, you see, Sam, Sam, Sam was the driver here. Sam made the point very forcibly, you know, that you are my father, not my doctor. So, you know, you're quite right. That was the instant reaction. You know, we've got to sort this out. We're going to go to the best specialist we can find. No, he didn't want that at all. He just wanted me to just... Uh, Why didn't you want... That help from your father? I suppose I wanted the lines. Well, for one thing, he's a specialist in, in leukemias and lymphomas, blood cancers, and stuff mm. like that. Though he did once for a while flirt with the idea of switching to brain tumors, which was, an, I guess, it was an admirable yeah. sign of devotion. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted that to be a clear line. I did not want there to be too much interference, in short. 
Don't say you'd be my dad, not my doctor. Yeah, yeah. Because your mum's I mean. a nurse, a trained nurse as well, mm. isn't she? She's got yes. two parents who I must have, have their opinions. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Yes. Well, Sam, you, you've no shortage of info on your tumour and, and your own theories about it. You've learnt a lot about that. Yeah. What have you learnt about yourself in this time? Uh, I never say die. <laughs> in short, <laughs> I, I just I just will yeah. not quit. Yeah. And the even the anecdotal evidence warrants, in my opinion, it really warrants investigation of a severe kind because this could mean if even like one or two of the stories that I've read are true, I think uh, that would be the case that you, like a massive kind of on surge of, of this kind of stuff would 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 be warranted mm. from from all angles. And I'm really hoping that someone picks up the ball and mm. works on uh, and Dad, getting your stuff out what there. Have, what have you learned about your boy, your boy who you've known for 20-odd <laughs> yeah. years, and yet I'd, there's things you're obviously learning so I admire him. I don't, I don't agree with everything he's done by any means in terms of all, these other stuff, all this other stuff that he's done. But I've got to admire him for his tenacity, his single-minded purpose. He's taken everything to the absolute max, to the tops, and, you know, he's done very well. He's doing very well. Well, we hope you continue to do very well. And he said, you know, that there's always research going on, as you know. And it's, it's lovely to see you both here, you know, when you ha do you have such a supportive family and you think of people that might have to face something like this Quite. on their own. Yeah. Um, do, do you believe, Sam, you'll beat this? Well, you have to. I personally, I mean, I'm leaning more towards the positive at the moment. If someone else can do it, if, if other people can do it, I believe I certainly can. And I'm still sticking around, and I have every every intention of beating this ridiculous thing that's in my head because I've got I've got a lot more I, I want to say on this topic, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that there'll be a lot more people out there who are willing to hear it. Sam, well, lovely meeting you. Good luck to you with what lies ahead. Thank you yeah. very much indeed, Martin. Thank you very much indeed as well. Uh, have you been affected by anything that? Uh, father and son have talked about there and you need any information you go to our website that is itv.com forward slash this morning yeah and uh, we're going to be back right after this break see you in a couple of minutes